Hey sleepover party business besties, it's Carmen and I am back with another video. Today's video is going to be about how you should be pricing your sleepovers, so stay tuned. All right guys, before we get started, I just ask that you please, please, please subscribe, like this video, comment, check the description for any um, links that I may put. All right, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you want to consider when pricing your party is the cost of your supplies. So supplies can be expensive. I mean, the TPs are about $70 each, give or take. You know, your beds, probably about $12 to $15. All your blankets, all your linen, um, all your pillows, all of your decor. You just want to consider, you know, how much that stuff costs. I probably spent an amount of upwards to five to seven thousand dollars when I first started. I wouldn't recommend you guys spend that much when you first start, but that's what I did. But I did make my money back very quickly. So just consider how much your products that you're going to rent out cost. Number one. So the next thing you're going to want to consider is how much it will cost to replace those items because we do rent to predominantly children and children tend to <laughs> break mess up, spill things. Um, so you, you'll probably want to do a lot of replacing of items. So consider the amount it will cost to replace your items. The third thing you're going to want to consider is how much it costs to maintain your items. And when I say maintain, I mean, you know, are you going to do your laundry or are you going to hire a service? You know, all of that cost. So the way you maintain your items, um, spending money to clean your items, the time it takes to maintain your items. So that's something you want to consider as well. The fourth thing you're going to want to consider is your hired help and how much you're going to pay them. I started off with hired help quickly because doing the parties alone just took way too much of my time. Um, like many of you, I am a mother, I have a full-time job, you know, I have to take care of my household and things of that nature. So I didn't want to spend three and four hours on a party when I can just hire help and it cuts down to one to two hours. So, I mean, I really value my time, but that is something that you want to factor into your price. All right. The fifth and next thing you want to consider is the cost of your storage. Unless you're storing your items in your house, which that can take up a lot of space, um, you want to consider how much you're paying for storage. Are you paying 100, 200, 300? I'm paying upwards of 500 in my commercial space a month. So um, you, you just want to make sure that you factor that into your pricing because that is pricey, you know. So just consider that into your pricing. The next thing you're going to want to consider is your vehicle or transportation. And that is if you're going to buy a van, if you're using your own car and the maintenance on that, the gas that it takes, you know, how the mileage, however far you're traveling to set up your parties. And remember, you have to go back to set up your parties. So consider that when pricing your parties, that you're going to go to the party to set up, go back home, go back to the party to pick up and then leave again. So that's four times, you know, of travel that you're doing. So consider that with your pricing. Okay, now we're going to get into the good stuff. <laughs> so you need to consider your competitor's pricing. How much are they charging for their parties? You definitely don't want to be under because you don't want to undercut and you can be over. I am over most of my competitors. I think I'm over all of my competitors in my city. And that is just because I've considered everything um, that I'm telling you guys and I'm going to tell you. And I just believe my value is just you know, higher than what they charge. And so there's that. So consider competitor pricing, but don't go below your competitors. You can be right at or above and that's okay. Consider your worth and, you know, how much you want to make, you know, off of these parties. Do you only want to bring home a hundred per party? Do you want to bring home an extra thousand dollars a month, an extra two thousand dollars a month, an extra five thousand dollars a month? Whatever it is, your goals that you're setting, that plays a huge factor in how much you charge for your parties. And it's definitely obtainable. I mean, people are making five to $10,000 a month, you know, with these parties after expenses. Um, so, you know, just consider that. Another thing you want to consider with pricing is your target audience. Who do you want to be able to afford these parties? Do you want, you know, the mother that 
is making, you know, minimum wage and she kind of budgets and she spends two to three hundred dollars on her party or she DIYs everything. Or do you want the mother who is either like a CEO or a stay at home mother who drives a luxury car, who splurges on her children's party? It, it just depends. Who is your who is your target audience? Who are you trying to target? So consider that with pricing, because if your prices are higher, the DIY mother or the budget mother, she's not going to be able to afford your pricing. Now, on the other hand, if it's the CEO mother or our stay at home mother who drives a Mercedes Benz, has Louis bags, her kids go to private schools, then, you know, she will pay, you know, five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for a sleepover party. So just consider who you're trying to target when you price your party. Location, location, location. Location means everything. I am in Ohio and I cannot charge the same prices that people in California or Arizona can charge. So just consider that. Consider where you live and consider who else is around you. Are you the only one who does it or do you have five other competitors in your same city? Location is everything. You can't I don't believe you can successfully be above your market and try to, um, and when I say above your market, I mean, you know, you live in, I'm trying to think of a state who, I don't know, Mississippi, I'm gonna just say Mississippi, and you're trying to charge California prices. I just, that's just not gonna work. So consider your location. All right, my last and final thought is to be realistic. You know, just have realist, realistic expectations realistic goals. Um, like I said, again, I'll use Mississippi. I don't think you want to be in a small town in Mississippi charging a thousand dollars for five children. You know what I mean? Just be realistic with your pricing. Also, um, I would set a base. So my base used to be, and I got this from, um, one of my business besties is never leave the house for less than $300. So I'm giving you a starting point. You can start there. Never leave your house in less for less than 300 to 350 and that can be for three to five tenths i personally start at three and i price um my way up so i'll start at three and then for each additional tent i have a fee and i would make that fee between 50 and 75 dollars i just think that's realistic um that's what i do you can go higher you can go lower i wouldn't recommend it because there's so much you need to consider when you're doing this business because there's 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 not a ton of overhead up ahead but there is overhead and time that is involved um also think about your add-ons do you have you know are you making personalized cups or anything like that so consider that in your pricing another thing people ask me is well how do i do the packages or how do i do it do whatever you want and I am a firm believer and advocate of looking at other people. Look at how other people do it and get ideas. What I do is I start at three um, for my standard package and then I price each additional tent. My standard package doesn't include any balloons and it doesn't include any personalized items. Then I have my deluxe party. It includes balloons and personalized items. And that is priced automatically $100 higher for the three tents and then an additional like $20 for the extra tents. And let me take that back. So my standard package with just the tents and the decor starts at 275. And then for the extra tents, I charge $50 per extra tent. Now for the deluxe, I charge 375. And for the extra tents, I charge $70. So you can do it like that, or you can do, okay, three tenths cost X amount of dollars, four tenths cost X amount of dollars, five tenths. I don't personally like that. I feel like it's a, a mind game. And when I had my prices like that, nobody booked me. So what I did was I changed it and I set a base. So for three tenths is this amount, and then each additional is this amount. And that's when I started booking. I don't know if it was just timing. I don't know if it was the pricing structure, but whatever it was, um, and end up working after. So that is it. Those are my tips. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. This is your business. Do what you want and look at other people's. Look at my website. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at your underscore business underscore sleepover underscore bestie. 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.